I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and it's my pleasure today to be here with Liliane Lavergere. Liliane is the director of the Invest Quebec office in Atlanta with responsibility for the entire Southeast. Liliane, welcome. Thank you, Phil. You know, when we're thinking about bioscience, software development, entertainment, or the arts, Montreal comes forward as a place generating talent and creativity. How do you do it? Uh, we do it. We've been doing it uh, for a long time, actually. Uh, probably uh, people don't know that Quebec City is one of the oldest cities in uh, North America. And we've been exchanging ideas and cross-border for over 400 years, way before the technology era was there. Mm -hmm. So it brought a multicultural milieu, and it helps to attract the best and the brightest from around the world. For instance, Laval, a former agricultural area. Now it's the site of a wonderful biotech, bioscience incubator. How did that happen? Well, that's an interesting story. I mean, bio, life science is a big uh, hub in Montreal. We're in North America, probably the fourth in, in terms of location, but specifically to Laval, the first uh, company that has the largest Canadian success was Biochem Pharma. Mr. Bellini originally was a researcher at the Institute Armand Frappier, which is located in Laval, that uh, specializes in immunology. He discovered a molecule uh, that is, to this day, uh, it's called a 3TC, that is the most prescribed drug in the world for HIV and AIDS. Of course, Biochem Pharma changed ownership. It was sold uh, in the 90s. Uh, it changed, and the last one who acquired that technology is JSK, and they paid $2.3 billion. So that helped, I think, establish Laval as a center of uh, renowned science. And, and, and yet Montreal has to compete with Boston, which is nearby, mm -hmm. not that far away, and a great center for bioscience. Uh, nevertheless, you've been able to attract companies from Boston in a, a way that um, has been appealing to them. What were the reasons that they have moved? Well. The basic reason normally behind people looking to move the talent will be number one. And very few people know, Phil, that Montreal produces most graduates per capita ahead of Boston. I mean, this Boston is bare none in terms, as you know, universities. And uh, we just have per capita the most graduates. So I would say talent is at the forefront. And then, of course, Investissement Quebec. Invest Quebec, we are. Uh, an agency that provides support uh, tailored to the needs of the clients. So whatever their needs are, we make sure they match the right people. We host them in Montreal. We make them meet the community. And of course, we are also a business bank. So we can talk about all the financial support that they can obtain. And the CEO of this company from Boston, a very smart young entrepreneur, understood very well the advantages that... Uh, We're talking about New World Laboratory. That is correct. And what specifically brought that company to Montreal and Laval? Well, after the talent, then I guess money talks. Um, there is uh, a lot of VCs in Montreal, but his financing came from abroad, so he was not attracted by the local VCs, even though they are present and he met with them. Uh, the, um, we call it the R&D tax credit, but it's not really a credit, and this is where I'd like to maybe emphasize on the fact how it works. And uh, this person understood it very well because it is not tied to profit, it is not tied to success, and the biotech company, as you know, will invest uh, you know, almost a billion dollars in R&D over 15 years, not knowing if they're going to make it to market. So it's a big risk. And uh, we just, at the end of the year, whatever they spent on the qualifying uh, expenditures, they receive a check, actually. So they get refunded for the eligible expenses. So there are cost advantages. And in terms of the educated pool, 
where are the specific strengths? What are the, are there scientists that have degrees that are sought after by the, the bioscience companies? Uh, there is there is four faculties of medicines uh, in Quebec. There is uh, seven universities and four of them have faculty of medicines. So we made sure also when we put together this incentive that uh, we also keep the, our best mind uh, in the province because of course the U.S. is a big attraction for them to go do their postdocs. So it is was not created mainly to attract but to retain. So you are attracting new talent, new companies, but you also have large techno parks with very established companies. Um, how did that uh, part of Montreal's economy grow? That's interesting uh, because, yes, we do have a um, research park, one of them, the uh, Montreal Techno Park, which was modeled after the successful RTP in North Carolina. It's not to that scale of a size, but it's still, you know, 30 million square feet, well located by the airport. It has the greeneries and like the RTP park. Uh, when it started, uh, we were, I guess, lucky to attract uh, large companies that were looking to locate, I'm talking about Astra, today was AstraZeneca, they were the anchor tenant of that park. They were looking to, est to establish their world mandate for pain control. And again, I would say talent was the factor that made them look twice at Montreal. And then, of course, the other support that I provided you. And they were amazed with the little, you know, no red tape, the speed at which everything was put together, and the support that they got from the government. What were some of the other companies that moved to that techno park? Oh, you have a lot of uh, biotech uh, companies. You have a company from, uh, that was a spin-off from a company in Boston, Metal Gene, that is located there. They arrived in mid-90s, the CEO only. Today they have more than 100 people.